Hello. Uh, I hope that you're all doing fine. Uh, in this uh, session, uh, uh, we will have to uh, tackle the Python programming. So if you want to start with your fi uh, Python programming, uh, the requirements are very simple. Number one, uh, you can download the key Python in your mobile phone if you don't have a laptop or PC. Number two, it's pretty easy. Um, you can use the online Python interpreter. All you have to do is to search that in the internet. There are tons of uh, online interpreter in uh, the internet, so you can use that. Or number three, you can install the Python program using the pip command. You can use the 3.0 and higher version for that. Be sure that uh, your computer is compliant <laughs> for Python programming. So, for example, now if you have already installed your Python program in your computer, we can use your CMD command, okay, um, using your DOS, uh, DOS prompt. This is a terminal. You can use the Mac or Linux also for this, no? but mine, I'm using now the Windows operating system. So you have to start with the Python, and we have the Python terminal command right here. It's very simple and basic. All you have to do is to understand the basic input and output process for the uh, input process. You can use the print command, and you can use the print command also. So you um, can use this to uh, 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 write your pro uh, Python uh, right away, to practice the syntax and everything. For example, you have the x equals 10, y equals 10. That's how we declare that. Python uh, variable straight, every straight and forward application. So, um, in this discussion, we'll discuss how to use the uh, Python uh, basic modules using the date and time, using the lambda, and uh, using the basic functions, uh, of course, and how to attack the syntax. At the same time, we'll be, we will be writing a simple application at the end of this tutorial. Uh, writing uh, basic no random numbers to use the following um, commands, okay? Now, I am using an online editor right here, and uh, of course, this is very simple. If you have your mobile phone, you can use your mobile phone and set that to uh, web or desktop mode so that you can write a program. But again, you can also download the QPython program in your mobile phone. So, I I like Python because Python is cool. I mean, cool, no? Uh, you can write everything of something. This is now the new generation program wherein you can extract different information in the web and Python has a web infrastructure, uh, a web frameworks. No? You can use this for analytics and for robotics and for deep learning uh, programming. Okay, so that is Python. Now, we will write a program and uh, this program is the day in time. So I have here the date time. So date time is part of the Python modules. No? Uh, it's just like a library. So we declare the time date as our variable and we use the date time that time that now. So the purpose of date time is to display the current date and the current time. When we run the program, okay, we have the error. So what's the error right there? I think we missed the comma, okay? That is the separator. So we display the current date and the current time. Now, um, in the next session, uh, we will discuss how to use uh, more um, Python, mod Python module. So now, um, we have already uh, declared the uh, module, so we have here the date and time. Right now, we again invoke another module that is the time. If you're talking about module, this is the pre-built-in library of your Python. There are hundreds of libraries, and you can use it. Well, of course, if you're a Python programmer, you have the plethora and the blissfulness to uh, create and to write the programs, you know, because of uh, the previous library that you can get. So this time, we'll you know, use the date and time again. So we will use another variable right here, okay? So this time we have the time and we have the C time. So time is the main program. And of course, if we want to check why we are using the C time, we will call again our CMD command and check, okay? And we'll check the sub-programs or the sub-commands of this time. Now, all you have to do is to enter what? Python. After entering Python, we can see that uh, we have here to invoke the uh, time and assign the time to the variable, and you can see that there are some. There are here. There are there are uh, the sub modules or sub programs for the time. Uh, if you look at it, you can see that there are struct time, str time, time zone, local time, and we have the time right there. So that's the purpose of the module. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so the variable right now is time, and we need to use the time as a mother command and C time as the child command. So if we will print that, it's very simple. We run the program, so the output is this. Okay? Now, so this is a very simple program and with a very simple syntax. We again create 
another statement for that, another variable for that. Okay, so another date is to enter the year and the month at the same time you enter the day. So that's the purpose of date time, that time. Date time is the main time, uh, main uh, program, and the date time is the sub program date time. That is uh, the syntax. Okay, so when we print again, I'm sorry, no, I pasted a wrong um, a statement. So if we print another date and time, we print 2021 and 29, that is year, month, and, uh, month and uh, date and month. Okay, so that's the purpose of the format. Now, um, in the next uh, session, we'll discuss more on Python programming. Okay, uh, let's move on. So we have already declared the, what you call this, the, like the, like the modules in our previous discussion. And then let's go down a bit no? so that we you can understand more how to attack your uh, Python program. In this example, I'm using a time-based instructions where you, you will you can learn um, the main uh, topic and the core topic of your Python programming. Okay, um, in, in the next vids, we will discuss uh, the various and uh, different types of, of Python expressions and functions. Okay, so we will discuss the lambda. Um, talking about the lambda, that is an anonymous function in Python wherein you can um, write numbers of arguments, but again, you produce one expression. Uh, lambda is like a function, but here the syntax is a bit different. No, we're using here the variable at the same time, the lambda, and you know, the arguments. In these arguments, we have the x and y, therefore, we have two arguments. So, we need to use these variables as representations of our data to add two variables. So, this is the x and we have the y. So, when you print the value of 10 and 20, the answer is 20. The 10 and 10, uh, 10 and 20, the answer is 30. Why? Because x and y it represents a number so we return the value x plus y and x stands for 10 and y stands for 20 so that's the purpose of that so you can put the lambda as a representation of your function at the same time the, the dip total is a function wherein you uh, reference it to the lambda uh, what you call this statement so when you print the value of the dip data uh, dip total the answer is 30 again we have another example here Tip data one equals lambda x y. So we don't have any um, um, uh, added expressions for the y. We just print the value of y. When we print the value of ten, of course that is a number, an integer. It will print the value of third of ten. Okay. So we convert this lambda expression to a function. For example, we have here the dip dip total. So dip is how you declared it. Uh, how do you hold how you declare a, a Python function. So when you return the x plus y, it is totally equivalent to lambda. Meaning to say, you print the dip total 10, 10, you have two arguments, the answer is 20. So that is uh, the syntax for the lambda. And of course, if you want to write that as a function, well, they have uh, the same uh, output, okay? Okay, we are now in the last part of our uh, uh, Python uh, programming uh, lesson so expect that in our next uh, video we'll produce more information of Python programming okay for now this is part of our time-based instruction so that we can save time and at the same time you can learn the core topics in Python programming again we'll write a lambda function right here so the purpose of this is to print the string string is uh, you know in close of double quotation so you can use the strings numbers or any data as representation for your lambda. So in this book records, we have two arguments, that is the title and the author, and we return the value of title and author. So when you print what you call this, the value of the book records, we need to provide two arguments, so that is C++ programming, and we have there down two for the title and for the author. So that's the purpose of lambda, okay? Now, we'll convert this lambda as a function. So if you want to write a function in Python, always remember that there is a reserve word for that. That is the def. So we need to write book records and then we again write title and author as our arguments. We have two arguments right here. So when we return the value of title, okay, we need to use the plus as concatenator, as a separator, so that we can print it nicely. So title plus double quotation minus double quotation plus double quotation double quotation plus author. Okay, that is now the function. When we print book underscore records and then we put the, the strings of AngularJS as first arguments, comma, 
and then the author the second arguments so the answer is still the same okay can you get the point so it's very easy all you have to do is to uh, understand the syntax of the lambda and of course understand the principles of writing a very simple function okay and um, now our task right now is very simple okay we'll write a simple application uh, we will now uh, wrap up what we have discussed in the previous um, topic of our Python uh, time-based instruction. So we will have to uh, use the date time, and this time around, okay, we'll introduce a new uh, math function that is the random functions. We'll uh, we will write a program that will uh, print random numbers. At the same time, we'll infuse also how to write a lambda function. Okay, this is to review what we have discussed in the first part of this uh, tutorial. So now. If you want to learn Python programming, all you have to do is to uh, open these uh, vids and apply it in your own um, time, okay? So we have the very optic data. So we have to incorporate the random. Random had, has a, a sub-program that is choice. So we use the open and close parentheses and we put the numbers right there. So that is the tuples in the list, okay? So when you print the pick data program right there, it's very simple, okay? If we print the pick data, it will uh, random pick the numbers inside the list. So we have the, the list. List is open and close bracket. That's equivalent to array. Okay. Now, we will involve the date and time, okay, uh, in order for you to uh, revisit <laughs> the topic that we have discussed about the date and time. And, of course, uh, for, uh, for you also to recall it. Okay. So... We need to put that the current time x. I think you can still remember the previous program. And we run the program. Of course, the random number is, the lucky number is number 3. Okay. So let us change it again to 2, 3, and 5. Let us run the program. Again, the program is 3. Okay. Lucky 3. Again. So the lucky number 5 is number 5. Now, we will apply the lambda. The, the, the purpose of this lambda is to write a basic functions or an anonymous functions that will... Uh, assign the pick data to a variable and return the value by means of the lambda. So our variable here is deep data. And at the same time, we have only one argument in our lambda. So we return uh, the same argument as expressions without any uh, operators. Okay, we need only to return the operands that is a number. So x equals to pick data because pick data uh, is uh, to generate an unknown number from 1, 2, 3, 5. And then we, we need to print the lambda deep data pick data when we run the program it will produce what okay that is the answer three so the first number is three the lucky number is three so that is the answer that's how we use the deep uh, data if you want to uh, add and to shuffle this thing it's very easy you can add your own uh, expressions or arguments and then you can play with it be sure that you understand how to use the operators and the operands okay so in this example, uh, I hope that you uh, learned a bit and at the same time, you can play with these codes and data. So we need to uh, um, fuse our final uh, codes right here. So we need to, to put the final your lock number in order to match the first numbers to the last number of the random genera generator uh, uh, statement at the top of our program. Okay, so please don't forget to subscribe like the channel and please click the notification bell button thank you and uh, have a nice day